Hello, this is Father Randy Sly with another installment of Day by Day, where each day we take a look at uh, the readings of Holy Scripture found in the Daily Mass. And today is Wednesday of the 24th week in Ordinary Time, and it's also a Memorial Day, a memorial for two saints, uh, St. Cornelius, Pope, and St. Cyril, or excuse me, St. Cyprian, Bishop. And so I'd encourage you to uh, go online and, and look up the biographies of these two great saints, uh, Cornelius and Cyprian. I think it'll be really good for your soul today. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, then to what shall I compare the people of this generation? What are they like? They are like children who sit in the marketplace and call to one another. We played the flute for you, but you did not dance. We sang a dirge, but you did not weep. For John the Baptist came either eating food or drinking wine, and you said, He is possessed by a demon. The Son of Man came eating and drinking, and you said, Look, he is a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. But wisdom is vindicated by all her children. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today's uh, section of the Gospel really begins with the visit by a couple of the disciples of John the Baptist, who is now in prison. And the two disciples are coming with a question from John himself. Now, John's been imprisoned, of course, because of the situation uh, of condemning uh, the marriage of um, Herod the Tetrarch. And so he's now in prison. He's hearing stories about Jesus. And of course, he's already declared that Jesus is the Messiah, but he's hearing stories. But uh, there's something that is causing him to question, is Jesus the one? <clears throat> Perhaps he thought that things would happen much more quickly and that once Jesus was baptized and began uh, his ministry, that things would happen much more quickly. We don't know whether uh, he may have not uh, not received all of the full information of what was going on. We, we don't know. But for whatever reason, John the Baptist was concerned and sent a couple of disciples to ask Jesus the question, are you the one who was to come or should we look for another? And so they're wondering, uh, or John the Baptist actually is wondering, and they probably were wondering with him, okay, what's going on? And so they go and find Jesus, and he's in the midst of doing some amazing miracles. And so they ask him the question. And Jesus uh, basically gives them this reply, go and tell John what you have seen and heard. The blind regain their sight, the lame walk, lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, the poor of the good news proclaim to them. And blessed is the one who takes no offense at me. So he basically sent the disciples away with confirmation to John. I am the one. You were correct. And your proclamation was on target. And not only am I doing the works of a Messiah, but I'm also proclaiming the word that the Messiah is to bring. And when these messengers had left then Jesus takes this occasion to talk with the crowd that was there about John the Baptist and about his message as well as his own teachings uh, as Jesus has been going around teaching and then bringing miracles to bear through healings and deliverances and all kinds of things and in the midst of that Saint Luke puts together a couple of uh, comments in two verses to kind of put everything in context, and this is what Luke writes. All the people who listened, including the tax collectors and who were baptized with the baptism of John, acknowledged the righteousness of God. But the Pharisees and the scholars of the law who were not baptized by him rejected the plan of God for themselves. That little parenthetical, parenthetical comment then opens up the door for Jesus to make the statement, who shall I compare the people of this generation? He wasn't talking about the followers that he had, but rather the, the Pharisees, the scholars of the law, the scribes, those who had rejected the plan. That's who he's talking about. And he says, who are they like? He says, 
they're like children who cannot get along. That they'll say to each other, hey, I played a happy song on the flute, you wouldn't dance to me. And the other song, I play a dirge and you wouldn't dance with me. And so they're contending about a number of things. And even to the point of John the Baptist and Jesus himself, there was no agreement and support on either side. Nobody, nobody would make them happy. John, when John the Baptist came, he came as a prophet with a Nazarite vow, which prohibited uh, the drinking of wine, and he had to have certain uh, foods that he ate uh, as a part of his fasting routine. And he said he's, they said he's possessed. Jesus comes. He, he doesn't do that. He's eating and drinking like a normal person, and they call him a glutton and a drunkard. So nobody is happy. And so Jesus is saying, this is what we're dealing with, with these scholars and with these leaders of Israel, these religious leaders, is nothing's going to make them happy. But then he adds this beautiful comment. He says, but wisdom is vindicated by all her children. In other words, those who are following, those who have made the decision to follow after both the proclamation of John the Baptist and the teachings and works of Jesus, those who are embracing that, that's wisdom's children. Wisdom's children are those who follow after the God of wisdom, the God who has brought all of this to bear. And so he's basically affirming the crowd, saying, you have been wise to choose me. Continue to follow after the one that you have chosen. So may the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts together be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. Amen. Well, and of course, wisdom is vindicated by all of her children in this day and in this generation as well. And so for all of us who have chosen to follow after Jesus, continue to follow with all your heart, knowing that you are one of wisdom's children. So may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.